Det deler man. Thirty level. Oh, just amazing ability to accelerate through the shot and generate a lot of pace off a shot that you wouldn't be expecting it here on the defense. This is ripped pretty hard and bang, look at that change of direction and power. And Stevens loves that pattern of being able to open up the court to be able to use that backhand down the line. That's one of her favorite shots. First game. Wow, what a start from Sloan Stevens. One love. First game. Certainly, I've always felt Sloan Stevens makes it look easy. You know, when I was coaching um, Sam Stozer, she played her a few times, and when you're up close and personal on the court and you see the power that she can generate. Wow. Sloan Stevens, especially off that forehand. And I'm surprised with the win prediction. I am too. When that popped up, I'm really surprised by that. I probably would have thought it would have been the other way around. Yeah. I mean, I think it would, be, would have been close, but I would have given the edge to, to Stevens. Wasn't that is that, tight, though. Wasn't that a lovely overhead shot of the ground? That was. <laughs> Well, the backhand's the best shot for Kalinskaya. Can generate a lot of pace, particularly the cross court backhand. You mentioned Stevens making it look so easy. I actually find both of them kind of have that similar style where everything is just fluid. And I, I think especially off the movement as well, that's where I feel like everything just looks so smooth and fluid. And there's a look at Kamal Murray on the left, coach of Sloan Stevens. Murray, of course, was coaching Stevens when she got that U.S. Open title back in 2017. Then they separated for a little bit but have reunited just recently, just the beginning of last year. There's you. Oh. Thank you. Help! 
I also look at Patricia Terabini, who's been coaching Anna Kalinskaya for a while now, former player. It's had a big impact on Kalinskaya, especially mentally. Kalinskaya mentioning how much Terabini has helped her enjoy the sport, enjoy being on the court more often. Just a different perspective that she's brought. There's that beautiful yeah. backhand. Good start from both players here on Kia Arena. One all. Well, Jill, I got to speak with Pato Tarabini after the match last week. Kalen Sky was up a set, four love, game points to go five love. So felt she had to pick up her player pretty quickly leading into a grand slam. And she's done a wonderful job now that she's into the third round here. Oh. And that's exactly what Collins guy is going to be I looking to do. Team. That's something Stevens coach Kamal Murray had mentioned when Collins guy won that match against Stevens at the U.S. Open back in 2019 was that had the biggest impact was the aggressiveness off the return in particular. Did make the final of the French Open as well, Sloane Stevens. And I just uh, posed the question, are you surprised she hasn't had more success, Sloane Stevens, given her ability? I am, yeah. I mean, I mean, she's done well, obviously. I mentioned that. And also here, back in 2013, as a semi-finalist. But I would have thought she would have had more consistent results across the board at the, at the Grand Slams. I know we mentioned that she's had to deal with some injuries on and off in her career. And that's something that if you don't have that con consistent match play can sometimes be up and down at tournaments week in and week out. I, mustn't, I think you see some players who reach the pinnacle of the sport and that can be their goal to win a Grand Slam. And I think sometimes when you see a player reach that, and I'm not saying that's necessarily happened to Sloan, but I just wonder, given her ability, I, th I think she probably could have won two, I think so two or three more Grand yeah, Slams at least. She was close. Yep. The uh, following year. That, the one at the French Open, she lost to Savona Halep. Right. Won the first set and really had Halep on the ropes and just fatigued a little bit, I felt. Halep did a great job of extending rallies and turning it around. Oh. Wow, that's huge. Love this forehand from Sloane Stevens. She holds serve, and we're on serve. 2 1, first set. Stevens leads by two games to one. It's a serious weapon, that forehand. Got a lot of firepower. She can hit it inside in, inside out. Very, very hard to attack against a player of Sloane Stevens when, when she's got the speed. And, and the power, particularly on that forehand side. And she's very good with that high ball on the forehand. That's something she did exceptionally well in her, in her previous round against Kasekina. Kasekina's type of ball where she can get that heavy spin up above the shoulders, and normally it's a, it's a good play just to get it out of the tri strike zone, but that's an area where Sloan is very good. She can get aggressive. She times it well from a high position. Well, I think that's why the French Open on clay, that's why she's so good. 
that, that the high ball. Another coolish day here at Melbourne Park, just 17 degrees at the moment. It's been a little weird the weather here in Melbourne, but that's what you get here at Melbourne in summer. Hot early in the week, above 30 degrees, and it is 17, but expected to get a little warmer in the coming days. Of the baseline throughout Didn't that rally, you know. Konskaya. Even with one ball that Sloan hit slightly with more depth, she she just cuts that angle off so well to take it early and on the rise. A different matchup here for Stevens too, as opposed to her previous round against Kasatkina. She had a little bit more time on the ball overall in the ground stroke rallies and right out of the gates, Konskaya. A little bit of different ball, much flatter. Goes through the court a little bit more. I like about this play. What's your take on the courts, Jill? How do you think they're playing this year? I've heard I've heard different things from players. Some a lot of them are saying they're they feel a little bit slower, but I think a lot of is it the ball. I think uh, after you know you get the balls for seven games, and a, a lot of the players are saying they get slower pretty quickly and fluff up quite a bit. Which would slow things down. And then all of a sudden, I think the, the biggest discrepancy across the board from the players is when they get those new balls, how different it is right away. And as you can see, a 16-stroke rally, these types of rallies will only fluff up the ball and make it feel, well, it will get bigger as the fluff expands off, off it, and that slows it down, making it harder to hit winners. start from both players which I'm loving they're seeing the ball well into the third Union round here so they got matches under the belt and gee there's already a lot of winners early in this one that's great quality ball striking and that last backhand down the line that's what Stevens that's the type of shot that she wants to hit but if she doesn't get it quite close enough to the line Colin Skaya, she moves just as well able to cut that off and create such a good angle
Lovely. Well, Stevens has been starting to incorporate the drop shot a little bit more often. Not a bad play, but Collins guy's core position's pretty far up, so it's got to be pretty picky about when you use that drop shot. Let for service. transition forward from Stevens, no hesitation. As soon as he sh she saw this short ball was immediately up on that ball and coming forward to the net. Good reaction here, good reflexes on the volley. That's her favorite shot. It has a really nice ability just to hold that backhand. She redirects on the forehand so well from, from that middle ball. It's creating a lot of opportunities for herself. Ball. Just five mils out, and that is the first break point for Anna Kalinskaya. Ball. A little bit extra spin on that serve just so it bounced up higher on Collins Kaya, so couldn't quite get the pace on that. Gave Stevens time to run around that forehand. Great movement. Athletic ability here from Sloan Stevens. Fights off a break point, hold serve, and she leads 3 2 in the first set. Stevens leads by three games to two. Doesn't give much away, does she, Sloan Stevens? Very neutral in her body language doesn't 
go through the emotional roller coaster that you see some other players experience? Well, I think that gives you a sense of, of where she's at right now as far as her mentality. I think she's in a good place. I think sometimes you see she can get a little bit emotional occasionally or, or frustrated. I saw it sometimes in that first set against Kasatkina in round two here and, and just but was really able to sharpen it up and got in a really good place. So I feel like you can tell right now that she's in a pretty good state. Time. No breaks of serve just yet. Callan Sky having the one break point opportunity in the previous game. It. And this is just a lovely little variation in what Sloane St Stevens can do to you. She can bring you forward and then generate pace and angle with ease. going on here just with a couple of slice backhands it's really well executed here just changing it up and forcing Callan Sky to slice I think that's a great play because Sloan size stays so nice and low and Callan Sky you can see it just popped up and gave Stevens a lot of time on that There we go, a couple of break points now for the American. That backhand angle is so nice from Kalinskaya utilizing that pretty often just to try and get Stevens on the stretch. Forced errors really out of nowhere there from Sloan.
like the no hesitation there, taking that ball out of the air. Good placement on the serve. Wow, it was amazing hustle from Stevens in the end on, on that drop shot. That one I think Konska I thought maybe had, had missed on that deep shot, but Use. great hustle here and Konska waiting for the backhand volley and just couldn't adjust her, her movement and her racket head on time. Yeah, solid. Good hold here from Cullen Skyatt. Faced a couple of break points, but we're at three games three all games first on. set. It's nice to see Cullen Skyatt back in, in good form here at this Australian Open. It's a tough game to get through, really mentally tough, but she's had some challenges in the past as far as injuries, especially last year. She was playing some of her best tennis last summer on the clay, had one of best wins of her career against Rabakina in Madrid. And then next week in Rome had to retire against Rabakina because of a hamstring, had pulled her hamstring and that was unfortunate timing, Josh, you because she was playing some of her best tennis and all of a sudden had to take a break and then didn't play again until the U.S. Open, but did an amazing job of winning her first WTA $125,000 tournament at the end of the year to be able to get that ranking back up into the top 100 and make the main draw here in Melbourne. Well, the live ranking is sits at 61, so yeah, good chance here if she wins today, she'll slide into the top 50. First strike on the ball, so important for both of these women. Anything short. 40, 
Both of them doing a great job right now of spreading the court right away. It's great movement up to that ball from Stevens. Again from Sloan Stevens, 4 3. Stephen First set. Another stunning day here at Melbourne. That's south the Yarra, and you can catch a boat from the city, get dropped off at the courts. You can you can do a bit of rowing training in the Yarra as well, which is part of a lot of the school's programs here in Melbourne. New balls here after seven games. Just a little bit more flight throughout the air with these new balls. And the last thing you want to do is try and control it. That makes the ball fly on you even more. So that extra acceleration is so important. Just long, so pretty quick service game from Kalinskaya. Four all. Four games on. 
Well, it's going to be interesting. Not much separating the two right now. I think both very strong off the ground. There's Terabini again, just giving a little bit of some advice to Colin Skaya. But it's been very evenly matched so far. I think both just, it's going to come down to who plays that pressure moments the best. Who can serve. A serve's going to be important in these next few games. Pressure points at the moment, so they will build. Both have been hitting with such good depth, so that one slightly shorter. Kalinskaya just not getting up to that ball quickly enough. High ball from Kalinskaya. Didn't feel like Stevens needed to flatten that one out so much down the line. She's got such good rotation naturally on that forehand side. Just maybe got a little impatient on that ball. trouble here for Stevens just this last five minutes or so a few too many unforced errors creeping into her game Just missed, and I can see there Stevens just putting a little extra heat on this backhand, catching Callan Sky off guard. to just guide that ball in the court. It's a good serve, good placement, but Kalinskaya did let up slightly on that return. Right one to go for acceleration, maybe overcompensate a little bit from the previous return. Oh. 
Gets out of jail. Great stuff from Sloane Stevens. Moves ahead 5 4, first set. Stevens leads by five games of four. The boys are in the house here enjoying the middle weekend of the Australian Open. Not sure who they're supporting. Jill, who do you think? I think they're just supporting tennis. This, this. <laughs> that's, my, that's my take. They just look like they're really happy to be here, which is good to see. Yeah. There's about 20 of them up there. Thank you. Thirteen, fifteen. Right. Bit of tension here for Callan Skyer. Serving to stay in this first set. Too short from Stevens on the backhand, trying to get the depth on that log, just landed just a couple feet past the service line. in the end, five all. Five games all.
Good pace on that forehand. Yeah, That's where Colin Sky can sometimes rush Stevens. Can be risky going to the, the Stevens forehand side. It has to have a lot of pace on it because that is the shot that she likes to get aggressive. She likes to control the point from that forehand side. It's such a heavy shot, but that had enough pace on it from Colin Sky to cause the error. Perfect example, really heavy forehand, good rotation mm -hmm. from Stevens. Good hold here from Sloan Stevens. Getting to the business end of this first set. Stevens Seven leads 6 5. By six games of five. Bring it home, Sloan. Well, she's in a good position in this first set. 6-5 up on serve. No breaks of serve yet. Both players with a few chances. Thank you, players already. Oh. 
Interesting throw, Sloan throughout that. Rally going down the center of the court, just trying to take that angle away from Colin Skaya. Just forcing that last forehand. Slightly into the body. Stevens catching that a little bit too close to her. Oh, nice. Taking it on here. Great stuff from Kevin Sky. Chance to take this into a first set breakup. Six games all. Six games all. Tie break. So evenly poised. 54 minutes of play already and so little in this one. Jill, who are you tipping? Oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> that's why you posed the question, right? Well, I think, who, who, who do you think has played better in the first set? I feel like Colin Sky has been a little bit sharper, I would say, as far as overall throughout the first set. I mean, like you mentioned, it's been even so evenly matched, but Khan Sky, I feel like, has maybe stepped up a little bit more. Look at the experience of Stevens. Stevens. It could be a factor. Yeah. Um, but Khan Sky could be playing freely too. I mean, this is the furthest that she's gotten at a Grand Slam so far. And so could just be playing really free in, in these big moments. Such good calmness there on that shot, especially with how quick Stevens is around the court. Sometimes you can feel rushed to hit that ball into the open court to try and rush the opponent, but Kalinskaya did a great job of taking her time on this ball. Four hands in a row here. I love the way that Collins guys really taking it on here, not waiting for Stevens to miss. Showing the initiative. Target there, Kalinskaya. 
Stevens not doing enough with that approach shot. Landed relatively short and also didn't quite get it off the court enough. Left that line open for Colin Skaya. Yeah, I, was, I agree. That's the shot that you've got to keep being aggressive on. That's what's got, got her in the lead with this mini break. Tempo and aggressive in this tie break, Kalin Skyer. And the players will change ends after six points. Fans waiting to get into Kia Arena here. Just that big stadium behind, that's the MCG, Melbourne Cricket Ground, where they play cricket and Australian rules football. She should have backed up after that approach shot either. She was so far inside the court. Even if you don't feel like you've hit the best approach shot, you got to commit to staying forward on this. She backtracked and just left that open for Stevens got caught in a vulnerable position. Good aggressive point that from Colin Skaya. One hour of play already. Three set points here for Kalinskaya. Anna Kalinskaya. Way to save break point there from Sloan Stevens. Excellent volleying good. skills.
He's just tightening up again. He's sort of stuck there. And the quality of the approach meant that she was always never going to get into a good position at the net. I still felt like it was the right play, though. That intent of committing to be aggressive and going after it and moving forward and yeah, maybe could have gotten it more to the line. It's still a great dipping shot from Stevens at the net, making a tough first volley. the top of the tape. She was trying to be aggressive. Khan's guy forcing herself to really go for it. Consistent few points from Stevens. I, I felt like that last rally, she was just wanting to be consistent and waiting for the unforced error for Khan's guy. I mean, she really did put it on Khan's guy's racket, I felt, in that point. She's saved three set points in a row here, Sloane Stevens. Can she go on and win it from here? Pato Tarabini, she's seen it all. She sat through it last week in Adelaide. A couple of close matches, Colin Sky played. Just urging her player on here to keep the belief, keep going for it. Let's Yep, just held the backhand again, and that's a run of four points. Seven, Gives three. the American her first set Demons. point. Just got the outside Seven line, all. surely. Oh, paints the line. Seven all. That was brave. That was very brave on set point. Just had committed to just going after it. Really well done. Never second guessed herself on that backhand. And again, aggressive play from Callan Skaya here. Seven. Just really taking it on deep in this first set tie break, showing great courage to push forward, finish at the net. Fourth set point.
just accelerates on this last forehand, just puts a bit of heat on it herself. I think on the few forehands she had in that rally, just to add it a little bit extra. And again, that is great commitment here from Sloan Stevens. Stevens. Unloading on the forehand. Set point number two. Gets it. What a set of tennis from both players. But it's Sloane Stevens who takes it. Seven games to six. Take the first seat available, please. Thank you. start here from Cullen Sky just with the flick lob such soft hands here I haven't seen the drop shot yet Fifteen. Fifteen, Important here, Callan Skyer stays Thirteen. with Stevens early in this second set. So a break point here. First game. Oh, 
that is just unreal from Callan Skyer. That was excellent touch from Colin Sky. I actually thought she was going to be in a little bit of a trouble because Stevens did a great job of getting it nice and low. That's a tough half volley to control and be able to get that touch. from Kalinskaya. I felt like Stevens had a play on it. She pulled her racket away from this ball at the last moment. A, a nice aggressive approach, but Kalinskaya was guessing the right way. That's great control from that position. Good effort in the end. First game, second set. First game. Well, we had win predictor early in the first set. It was 65, no, it was 55 45 yeah, in favour right. of Sloan Stevens. No, in favour of Colin Skyer. Was it? What in the. <laughs> Gee, I think they got that wrong. <laughs> oh we, we, we were surprised by that, but now it shifted quite a bit. Wow, 73 to 27 for in favour of Stevens. It's amazing how much a tight first set can cause such a swing. Really? Callan's guy was favorite, was she? I think so. Sure? I'll just check with my producer. Yep. Guy Tassel is How could you person. doubt me, oh, well, Josh? I'm just surprised, given the <laughs> rankings and the... I think because we said that in the beginning, we were surprised that it was in, in favor. I mean, we thought it would should be close, but maybe mm. edging Stevens, but now because of that really tight first set. I, I still would probably put it closer because yes. there wasn't much difference in that first set, but it swung quite in favor of Stevens. Probably what we're talking about with just that slight experience of being at this stage in, in a Grand Slam. This is the furthest that Kalinskaya has gotten in her career in a Grand Slam so far. Oh. Turned around quickly here because Cullen Skyer was down break points in that first game and now gets out of trouble and a real opportunity here at Love 30. Recovery here from Colin Skaya, though, after having 15, lost such a 13. tight first set, sometimes you can get a little bit down on yourself. She takes some time, a little time off the court just to regroup and to come back and be able to save a couple break points. It's good mentality. work is the drop shot execution of the drop shot from Callan Sky. It's great quality off the ground from both. I, yeah, I think she just didn't quite know what to do with this ball. If she should go short or deep and then ended up just popping it up in the middle of the court. Great 
defense. Felt like Sloan had control that point, but Collins Guy using the hands well to get depth and use Sloan's pace against her. There it is. That is a break. First break we've seen all match. Kalinskaya needs by two games. two love. I like that return from Stevens. Kalinskaya in that previous game, I felt like was liking the flatter pace ball off the Stevens racket and enjoying that pace. And that one just got a lot more height. Too short. Still like the intention of going for that higher, heavier ball, but didn't quite have the depth on that return. Great execution from Colin Skaya. Got a little bit more underspin on that drop shot. Much better from Kalinskaya. Oh. She can't, she doesn't allow Cullen Sky to get a big lead in this second set, Sloan Stevens. Coach of Sloan Stevens. Break point opportunity. was not close enough at the net and couldn't quite put the backhand drive volley away here Sloan Stevens. That was a great approach and this was a great get from Colin Skaya just was able to get it get Sloan on her back foot on that swing volley. I, I think just could have moved up to that low volley a little bit better.
That's a great change up. Start in this second set for Anna Kalinskaya. She races out to a three love lead. That's quite a turnaround for Kalinskaya. It's done a great job after tough first set to be able to regroup, regroup has gotten really consistent off the ground. Stevens had a break point opportunity, but Collins guy played some really courageous tennis to be able to keep the lead here in the second set. I feel like Sloan just to maybe not as quick with the footwork in the second set to start. And it's been Collins guy. That's the one that's been able to be a little bit more aggressive and control more of these rallies off the ground, but great job from Colin Sky up. Time. Beautiful overhead shot of Melbourne Park at its finest. Middle weekend here of the Australian Open. And boy, has it delivered some incredible tennis already in week one. Here arena. Off to the left is John Kane Arena, where the roof is firmly open. And another well, a little cool day here in Melbourne. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Players are ready. Well, usually she's very good at that Did shot, you? taking that on the rise. That one maybe just a little bit higher than anticipated and just rushed it slightly. Oh. 
Collins guy definitely hitting with a lot more pace. He's decided to add a little bit extra on her average rally ball. And there's good percentage for both, really, but a little bit more for a good percentage for Collins guy after winning, getting that early break of serve, how she's able to convert and come up with that set. Really good percentage, high, 84%. Classy here from Stevens. Makes no mistake of this drive backhand volley. Desperate to try and peg back this lead in the second set. And that's one area of her game I'd actually like to see her do more of because she's so good at the net. And you just don't see her transition forward as often as I feel like she could. things a little bit quicker for Stevens off the ground. Just trying to change down the line. Just not quite in position, got stuck on the ground there with her feet. Another break point opportunity. Keep aggressive, keep the feet going. That's what we saw in the first set. Stevens just has usually has such good hands off the baseline that sometimes doesn't quite get in the best position. That one again off balance. Acceleration through the, the forehand. Just wonder, really shaking that knee out. Oh. 
jeans. Getting stuck here, a little close to the ball. There's no chance here for a double break. And it almost looks like she's getting set a little bit too early, and so then at the last moment can't make that quick adjustment away from the ball. goes in favor here of Anna Kalinskaya for love. Sloan's just dropped in intensity, the footwork, just catching her off guard. It's a real I, chance here for Kalinskaya to yeah. race through this second set. I really feel like it has a lot to do with Kalinskaya. She's just getting more behind her ball. She's brought a lot more pace, I think, to her average rally ball, and it's just hasn't Stevens hasn't made that adjustment yet to that quicker ball off the ground from Kalinskaya. Not sure what they're waiting for. They know the new rules. Let's get on with it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It was a great first set of tennis from Sloane Stevens, and now just struggling to find the court. Everything looks so easy right now for Collins Kaya. Service game. And that is all Anna Callan's guy. Five love, second set, first set, Stevens.
Well, it's been a remarkable turnaround in this second set. Sloan Stevens here, just having a discussion. So she's having a discussion with the umpire regarding the, the crowd being allowed to come in at the end of each game and then also being told to hurry up between points. So just a bit of discussion and amongst that, just knocking off a little bit of sushi as well. So she is multitasking out here. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Mm. Yeah, we just saw um, her coach, Kamal Murray, come give the one of the ball kids some it looked like two packets of sushi and it looked like that's what she was eating obviously needing some hmm, looked like some salmon well needed fuel salmon avocado I thought. <laughs> it's getting making there, it there we go <laughs> it is sushi wow That just shows you that Stevens just overall a little bit distracted after had a couple break points in that first game and wasn't able to con convert. And then all of a sudden the, the set has got away, gotten away from her a little bit. Fifteen. Trying to regain a bit of energy and momentum here, Sloan Stevens. You never want to drop a set six love, especially that middle set before it goes into a third set. Well done, Sloan Stevens. You're on the board. The sushi helped. Maybe they can send a little up here. <laughs> Might give us a little bit of a boost. You're hungry, Josh, huh? Starving. Yeah. Multi coaching requirements yep. from Kamal Murray. Take our seats quickly, please. Thank you. Both players just have waiting here where a few fans come on in. Sky 
Paul. Fifteen, fourteen. so many long rallies in the beginning of this match in that first set and now this second set overall not too many long rallies very quick points Response in this game down love 40. Be very desperate to try and wrap this one up, this set up, and move on into the third. Advantage, Kelly's game. So Kelly's guy with the set point. Set of tennis Five, from to one. One Anna Cullen Sky, the 25 year old. Six games to one. Nice bit of touch here from Stevens. So crucial, his first game, third set. Ball. Just been more aggressive, yeah. Cullen Sky. That's been the difference in the last half an hour 30, here. 40. Already an hour and 54 on court. It's very calm as well. Demeanor's changed, I think. It's got for the better as his matches progress. Just looks very calm as she approaches the ball. Wow, that's 
a great redirect. Very tough to read off the racket mm -hmm. of Stevens. Yeah, gets nice and tight in behind it. That's the point. I think Stevens has got to be prepared to take a bit more risk on and use this backhand down the line. Advantage. To open up the Stevens. court. Yeah. She's so good at it as well. But it's starting to get a little bit of better position. I mean, that footwork definitely up to the ball a little bit better. Oh, and what a Stevens. game from Stevens. Saves a break point. Just re-energized after her sushi. All right, win predictor, Jill. It was. It's been all over the place for this match. Pre-match, it was Callan Sky who was the favourite, which we were shocked at, 54%, 55% against 45%. Then it blew out the other way. So win predictor, Jill. It's got Callan Sky back in front. So we have had massive swings on this court. Yeah, we really have. It was in favor of Stevens after that first set and at 73%. And I think just the way that, obviously, the way that second set went, it was such a quick set. Obviously shifted towards Callan Sky. And I think also just where Steven's energy was. You could see she was just lacking a, a little bit of energy. Her footwork stopped a little bit. So I think that was a huge game for Stevens to be able to get through to start the third. Fifteen. Stephen somehow had, somehow had to counteract the more aggressive style in the second set from Colin Skaya. And this is what she did so well at the in the tie break in the first set was anything short. She took that risk, took advantage of it. Wow, that's a fabulous return and a great pickup off the ground. 15. And the key to to counteracting this huge return is to not do so much with your swing, just kept the racket head nice and short, just a nice little flick of the wrist. Just looking more and more motivated here. Sloan Stevens. coaching box too, up on their feet almost after every point that she's able to convert. I still think that was better movement, made the mistake, but it was much better Ooh, movement out person. wide from Stevens.
Reeves. Advantage Kalinskaya. of serve here from Anna Kalinskaya. One game all. One game all. Get. What a shot here from Callan Skyer. Just giving Sloan a bit of her own medicine here. Just prepared to take it earlier. Really gets that racket head firing. And Ket keeps her mo body momentum going in, in the right direction, just letting it flow. Oh. movement forward from Stevens, you know, causing Kalinskaya to change her mind, going for the depth and just pushing that forehand long. Few and far between aces in this one. Just the first one of the match here for Sloan. There's you. up from Sloan Stevens. Wow. That will give her a boost of energy. I was just thinking that could be the turning point for her as far as obviously she's been lacking a little bit of energy 30, by requiring 30. the food that was brought out to her, but that could give her a little bit of a boost. That was a great get. Sloan Stevens pushes ahead 2-1, third set. Stevens leads by two, game is the one.
time. Sloane Stevens now going for gel shots as well to change events. As much nutrition as she can possibly get. A new racket as well has been brought out from the stringer. So there's a lot happening. There is a lot happening. And when that foo is brought out, sometimes it doesn't kick in right away. I mean, it takes a little bit of time, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. It's really when your blood sugar level goes a little bit low, you feel like you don't have that energy. And that's what I'm guessing. She needed just a little bit of fuel. We saw some sushi, two smoothies come out. That smoothie will give her that instant sugar for that energy to kick in right away. She did look like she was a little bit better in that last game. Was to great anticipation right from the first shot as well, just to have Stevens stay in this point. That backhand cross court just opened up so much for her catching Colin Skaya pretty far behind the baseline. It's good control of this foreign as well. Didn't try and overplay it, but got good acceleration through the ball. Possibly having a little bit of a dip at the start of this third set has almost forced Stevens to be more aggressive, and we're seeing it. She's staying more up, up on the baseline now, so she's taking some of these deep balls from Colin Skaya earlier. Let's for service. Overcooks it. Stevens. First break of this third set goes in favor of Sloane Stevens. Stevens leads by three games to one. And Jill doesn't this next game have some significance of a 4 1 lead? Would feel big. It's just one break though. Yeah, it's got some weight to it, that's for sure. I mean, that was a tough game, and it was just looking at her face. Look at the focus and the concentration from Stevens. They've brought a lot of energy to her as well. And I think just their response and Stevens looking up and seeing that in the yep. box has helped her create a little bit more energy. Definitely. I love 
Thank you, thank you. So difficult from that position to know what to do with that ball when you're pulled so far out wide. Is incredible angle from Colin Sky and Stevens. You almost have to go for broke on that shot because you're leaving the whole entire court open. But it was just too good of a shot from Colin Sky. Up. to catch Colin Scott off guard, but a lot of height on that drop shot. Both players having a lot of opportunities, creating a lot of break points. Another one here for Colin Sky up. Sky gets the break. Stevens leads by three games to two. Sloan Stevens, 3 2, third set. So we're back on track here on serve, third set. It's a one set shootout here for players to move on into the fourth round here at the Australian Open. And a Callan Sky up. Ripping through that second set, 6-1. Sloan Stevens getting up an early break in this third set, but currently back on serve, 3-2. Oh, 
excellent. I love how Cullen's guy takes this on. Not an easy shot. You have to time it perfectly. Set up again by the backhand. The cross-court backhand. Such a great shot for Cullen Skyer. Ah. Game. Cullen Skyer. So a quick service game for Cullen Skyer. We're at three games all. Three games all. Stephen's taking plenty of time between points now, going frequently to the towel. shattering that stroke, but she was just reaching for that last backhand. Felt like she had gotten a little sharper with the footwork, but sometimes just not, still not getting into position. Left for service. Ball. funky spin on that one from Talon Sky. No problems here for Sloan. Yeah, she did a good job of adjusting because the change of the spin happened off the bounce at the last moment and Sloan felt like she was ready for that when it just came into her body at the last moment. down the line so often on both wings and especially the back end if she doesn't get it quite near the line it leaves that cross court open and Kaliskaya has been very accurate with the angles on both wings you have to cover so much ground when you go down the line to cover the cross court from Sloan Stevens. Stevens and she moves ahead in this final set four games to three Stevens leads by four games to three
time. Back in the final stages of this third set, 4 3 Sloan Stevens, the former US Open champion, leading Anna Kalinskaya. This is women's third round action here. Middle weekend from what has been a very popular Australian Open. That's good stuff from Sloane Stevens. A touch of class and earns herself a break point. Had to be a winner, otherwise she was out of position. Adios. Very accurate on the serve. That's the serve she likes to go to in the big points. Flatten that one out wide. shot here Advantage. not easy moving Stevens. forward to try and get a little roll angle happening I think because the last moment it dropped so low so it felt like she had to go for a more spinnier shot Yes. 
much wanted the outright winner there. <laughs> I like the aggression, but probably pick it a big target hard straight back through the middle. She's really stayed nice and composed in these break points, Kalinskaya. Yeah, he's been very stable mentally and emotionally in this match. Haven't seen her oh. too upset. Remain very positive. Good effort, had to fight off a couple of break points there for all. Final set. Four games on. Come the distance, two hours and 30 minutes. It's going to take something special for one of these two players to break this deadlock. And this is a good start. from the return, just exceptional depth on these first couple returns. Skyer. So it's a game of millimetres here. So much at stake. A position in the fourth round awaits the winner of this one. much room to work with that backhand angle just inside the sideline. This one right here, really good accuracy.
Well, and again, we're just saying, Jill, that the right, player right, would. He's able to have more aggression, yeah. really coming out on top in the bulk of these points. Break points have been hard to come by in terms of conversion. One of 11 for Sloane Stephens and three of 11 here for Callan Skyer. Brave hitting down break point. The views both been exceptional at that, just staying so mentally strong and, and these break points. Really powerful Henny from Colin Skaya. Yeah, advantage, Colin Skaya. Just one twenty kilometer an hour second serve. Good aggression here from Callan Sky earns another break point. Skaya gets the break. 5-4 final set. Kalin Skaya leads by five gamers to four. Just stepped it up there, Kalin Skaya. Took a bit more risk on. I think physically she looks better to me. I agree, yeah. I, I think just was willing to go after it a bit more. I think... It, Sloan saved a, a couple break points and very courageously, but I think those two second serves just didn't get the first serves in those last couple of points, and Colin Skaya took advantage of it and it was willing to go after it.
So Sloane Stephens fighting for survival here at this year's Australian Open. Down 5-4, third set. This match has had it all. Callan Sky, the 25-year-old, a chance to serve her way into the fourth round. Crowd here on Kia Aria. Arena has been so into this match. Oh. <laughs> Not done just yet, Sloan Stevens. Hello, 15. And with both of these players, just when you feel like you maybe have them in trouble. Sloan so good on the stretch there. Got that racket head through very quickly. Oh. Took a risk and took a little pace off that serve. Just changed the rhythm up on Stevens. Oh, that was a big double. A few. a few nerves, undoubtedly. Two hours and 40 minutes. It is Anna Kalinskaya who brings up a match point. Went for it though. That's what yeah. we want to see from Callan Sky. That's where she's had success. In so many epic matches at this year's Australian Open, and this one no different. Sloan Stevens with a break point to go to five all. It is. Again, it's the change up. Getting a quick error from Stevens, a little bit more of a kick serve from Colin Skaya. Oh. 
advantage by Alice Kaya. Second match point. Does she go the kick serve, and the change up, or does she try and go big? bit off and went the kick serve tried to be aggressive in the rally ball a great defense here yeah. from Sloan Stevens I thought it was a good point I think Stevens just neutralized well on one of those rallies and then got aggressive on the last backhand Above her shoulders, but found the depth. Colin Skaya. Point number three. Advantage. Kylie Skaya. Let's for service. She's done it. And Anna Kalinskaya cannot Kaya. believe it. What a match. Two, one, six, Two hours seven, and 45 six, minutes. One, six, Gets the job done over Sloane Stevens. is a huge result for the 25 year old into the fourth round here at Melbourne Park. Uh, such incredible fighting from Colin Skaya, especially after losing such a tough, tough first set where it's just a couple points difference, but she regrouped so well. And I think the key for her was just she had to take the chance of being more aggressive overall in the second and third set. And what a result has had beaten Sloan before in the past, but different circumstances here at the Australian Open. It's the first time she's 
gotten into the round of 16, and Sloan put up a good fight. She started really pushing it to Kalinskaya and got herself in a, in a great position, up a break in that third set. And But it's just Kalinskaya that really was the one that took advantage and took control in the end of that match. Well, disappointment for Sloane Stevens. But what a win for Anna Kalinskaya. In good form. We saw that in Adelaide last week. She's brought that here to Melbourne Park. And a wonderful moment here. Just 25 years of age. That win will likely push her up into the top 50 as well. Well, she's courtside. Let's hear from Pippa courtside with Anna Kalinskaya. Anna, congratulations. That was just incredible. If I told you a couple of weeks ago that you'd be in the fourth round here at the Australian Open, would you have believed me? Um, I probably would, but uh, of course I need, I need to work hard and uh, yeah, I'm very happy that I'm in the fourth round. And the support right in the, in the first second when you walked uh, out onto court, onto this key arena was just incredible. How much did they give you a boost and bring you up in those key moments, especially in that third set? Uh, yeah, the crowd is amazing. Uh, so many people coming to watch. Thank you so much for making uh, the match uh, so special. Thank you. You've had a pretty phenomenal start to your year. You uh, had a run in Adelaide, and now you're here in the second week here in Melbourne Park. So you must have had a pretty good off-season. What do you think clicked for you? Um, uh, it's a good question. Um, uh, we practiced more details uh, in the game, and uh, I think it, being in this level, it's uh, very important to stay focused in the important uh, uh, in the important points, uh, so we, we've been focusing on uh, on the details. Absolutely, very important indeed. Final question. So this is the most amount of prize money you'll have ever received at a tournament. A nice little injection of cash. So what's going to be your first purchase? Uh, nice question. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, I don't have anything in my mind. So. I'm, uh, I will take it easy. Not even some nice jewelry, some earrings perhaps? Uh, no, uh, maybe some nice purse. A nice purse, that'll do. <laughs> well, congratulations. Through to the fourth round here at the Australian Open. Thank you. Doesn't give much away, but plays a brilliant brand of tennis. And a Cullen Sky up. Fourth round, that's huge. And in good form as well, Jill, and chance to keep on going the way that she's played today. She's playing so good. Yeah, maybe a little bit overcome with emotion, so didn't quite know how to re to respond in the end. But we did see all smiles and a moment of just taking a moment on the court after she won that match point. It was it was tough to to get through. Sloan played some great tennis, but overall, both players playing very aggressively. You can see how many winners both of these players had and they were looking to be aggressive. A few, quite a few more unforced errors off the racket of Stevens, but they both created so many break point opportunities and it was Collins Scott.